Ableton has a new simpler. It just came out about a month ago. Super duper cool. They made some updates. The cool thing is that your samples can now be synced with your tempo clock, um, which is very useful. So particular project I'm doing right now, I'm sampling some old video game music. However, I'm trying to grab huge sections of songs. Um, so sampler kind of is a little difficult to use that way, but I found a pretty easy way to do this. So check out this track. This is from DuckTales. I think this is the moon level. So as you can see, it's fairly long. I mean, for a sample, it's very long. So what I'm going to do is let's grab our simpler here. Let's just drag it down here. Now this MIDI note I have here is only used just to trigger the sound. So I have it beat matched. So if let's go back to our simpler and let's find our project moon. So by default, let's just bring it in here. Let's press play and see what happens. So it's trying to match the tempo and it's assuming that all of this information is uh, not quite 16, but it looks like about 20 bars. So as you can hear, it's off. Now the cool thing about this is that you can tell simpler, hey, I just want to take, you know, maybe this section here and hit warp and we could just make that two bars, four, eight, whatever. Unfortunately, it doesn't allow you to change this as far as, you know, one bar, three bars, seven bars, or in this case, it's probably a maybe 32 bar um, piece of music with a four bar intro. So the workaround is to find a section that you know is maybe two or four bars and then warp it from there so here I'm just gonna use the intro so we'll just use that and say hey that's one bar now I'm gonna turn off snap so I can get a little more accurate here and you gotta zoom in pretty close just be very accurate so we'll tell that that's one bar Kind of sounds okay, so let's kind of look at everything else. Now let's kind of go for maybe eight bars and see where we're at. So it sounds close, but it's not in phase, uh, meaning like, you know, the kick isn't on usually beats one and three, stuff like that. So you have to be careful when you're doing this. So let's find a more identifiable loop instead of the intro. And also not all music is straight four. Sometimes there's people add a beat or two. Uh, so let's find something else here. So I'm going to try to find the downbeat over here. I think it's right here. Okay, so that's a small section. So what I'm going to do is try to find a two or four bar loop. So it looks like it's right there. Grab that and we were zooming in. You want to catch as much as you can of everything there. Okay, so zoom back out and we're going to hit warp. So, as you can see, that's the first bar, second, third, and fourth. So, let's play it with the tempo here. <laughs> Now 
while that is looped. Let's hear that again. Yes, that's good. As you can see, if we zoom in on the beats, so this is beat two, we have our transient pretty much right there. Same thing for three. It's a good way to check if uh, if your transients are kind of all over the bars. I mean, you're gonna hear it. So now that we have that, we can simply just stretch this out to wherever we need it. Say, you know, we want eight bars. We can go out to eight bars. Now, the trick here is that Ableton doesn't auto um, doesn't snap this part, meaning it won't just be smart and say, "Hey, play eight bars." So you have to be very careful when you're doing this part; otherwise, your loops will go out. So we can put it on eight. Now here's the trick: do not press the warp again. We've already established the uh, the tempo from that four bar loop, so leave it at that. So let's press play and see how it sounds. <laughs> As you can see, we've effectively tempo synced um, this song. We could stretch the whole thing out if we wanted to, um, but now it's totally in sync with live. Um, so I'll show you. So here's our tempo up here, about 100. And what I'll do is I'll play it and then slow it down, speed it up, and you can see how this sample stays in sync with the uh, tempo. <laughs> I personally have this set up because uh, I want to do some kind of weird things with this. So what I did, I have this note going. Sorry, a little loop here. Now I'm tempo synced with this cool little drum loop I have over here. these other little notes and I'll play them kind of by themselves so you, you get a feel for what it what it sounds like. So it's kind of a little drum melody but if we go down here we can actually see them being played. All the little musical elements inside the sample be synced up with um, the track so it doesn't sound like a mess although sometimes that's cool too so let's just slow that now let's just kind of hear this whole thing <laughs> that is pretty cool so let's just kind of extend that real quick Give it a listen. 